Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Tan. Today, we are doing the topic on multiplication and division work problems. So, this is a diagnosis test to see how good you are. So, session A consists of concept to see have you mastered the topics well. So, let's do question one. Vicky packed 12 cupcakes equally into boxes of six. How many boxes of cupcakes are there? So, one minute for you to do this question. Yes, if you have not uh, gotten your piece of paper and pencil, Okay, go and get it now because there's a lot of questions to practice. Yes. So let's do the question. First, he say he pack them equally into boxes of six. What is the meaning of boxes of six? Boxes of six is not referring to six boxes. Boxes of six is referring to one box has six cupcakes. This is what they meant, boxes of six. So you put the six cupcake into one box then put another six cupcake into one box so how many boxes one two two boxes you get the answer Now we go on to question two. Question two, Romeo kick child butterflies into four equal jars. How many butterflies are there in each jar? One minute to do this question, question two. Okay, so now, okay, chop butterfly for equal jar. So we have to put them equally. So more of the method is put one each first. So this for the first jar, second jar, third jar, fourth jar. First jar, second jar, third jar, fourth jar. First jar, second jar, third jar, fourth jar. 
So you have one, two, three. Three butterfly in Jua. So the answer is three. Or another way is to circle them. So, but this you have to try an error. So for example, you try to have this, 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 and this. So you put them into four jar and there are three butterfly in each jar. So you still can get the answer three. Now we come to question three. A tripod has three legs. How many legs do six tripods have? One minute to do this question. Okay, so one tripod has three legs. So six tripod will have six groups of three. One group, two group, three group, four group, five group, six group. Six groups of three. So it gives us six times three. And six times three equal to 18. So let's count three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Eighteen is the answer. Six tripods have eighteen legs. Now we go to question four. Judy put 32 apples equally into baskets of four. How many baskets of apples are there? Take some time to do this question. So, 32 apples 
equally into basket of four. So do you still remember what is basket of four? Basket of four means one basket has four. Apples. So we put four, 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 four. So how many baskets are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight basket of apple. Did you get the answer eight? Let's do question five. Doreen bought five similar flowers. Each flower has nine petals. How many petals are there all together? Take some time to work it out. Your answer. So since there are five flower with nine petals, it's five goats of nine. So five goats of nine is five times nine. And it gives us 45. If you are not good in your timetable, you can use addition. So nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine, give us Let's move on, question six. Tom has two bags of apples. There are six apples in each bag. How many apples does Tom have all together? Take one minute to do this question. If you need to draw a picture to understand, do it.
Okay, so let's draw two back. Then there are six apple. One apple, two apple, three, four, five, six apple. One, two, three, four, five, six, six apple. So this is known as your two goods of six. And two goods of six is two times six. That gives us 12. Two times six equals 12. So 12 is the answer. Tom have 12 apples all together. Question seven. Take one minute to do this question. Felicia buys 10 muffins. She puts the muffins equally into two boxes. How many muffins are there in each box? If you need to draw a picture, go ahead and draw the picture to understand the question better. So, Mr. Tan will draw 10 muffins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put in total boxes. So ten divided by two equal to five muffins in each box. Can you see? One, two, three, four, five. Five muffins. Or oh, another way to do it is you have the 10 muffins first. Then you put one each in each box. So this is for your First box, second box, first box, second box, first box, second box, first box, second box, first box, second box. So in your first box, there is one, two, three, four, five. Five muffins in each box. Let's go to question eight. Question eight. There are two clowns at a party. Both clowns share eating balloons equally. How many balloons does each clown have? Okay, take some time to work out this question.
So, Mr. Tan Job Berlin to help you understand better. So, there are 18 balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So, two crown share. So, this is for the first clown, this is for the second clown. So, eating share equally, we use divide by two, and one clown get nine balloons. So, the answer is nine balloons. Or, another way is to put uh, one balloon to each crown first. This for the first crown, second crown, 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 first crown, second, first, second, first, second, first, second. So first crown we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So eighteen divided by two equal to nine. Next question, question nine. You say, Peter had two sticker albums. Each album contained 10 stickers. How many stickers did Peter have in all? Okay, take one minute to work out. Okay, Mr. Tan will draw the picture. So I start with two sticker albums. So this is my one album, two album. And inside there are 10 stickers. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, how many stickers? Two goods of ten. So, it is two times ten. And there are twenty stickers. So, Peter had twenty stickers altogether.
try this question. There are four vans parked in a school car park. There are five students in each van. How many students are there all together? Okay, it takes some time to work it out. Okay, let's start with the drawing, okay, to help you understand. So there are four vans. This is the one van, two van, three van, and four van. And inside the van, there are five students in each van. So five. So one, two, three, four. Three, four, five, five students, one, two, three, oh, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So it is one, two, three, four, four groups of five. So we have four times five. That gives us 20. So there are 20 students, five, 10, 15, 20. You get the answer? of 20 students. 